Mrs. Lamb here. I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to make this Mother's Day card, or it can be for whoever is special to you, that also serves as a gift. Inside, there'll be three coupons you make of your choice to give as a gift. Let's go. So here are the supplies you need. I have some construction paper, but white paper works too. I got mine at the dollar store. A few markers, a pencil with an eraser in case I make a mistake, and I have a ruler that gives me a straight edge, but anything with a straight edge would work. I have some glue, even though white glue would work better. That's what I got. If you have some extra glitter, that would work too, but it's not necessary. I'm using a bottle cap to help me with my flowers. Hmm, I guess I could use this cap too. And that's what you need. Oh, almost forgot scissors. You need those too. I'm choosing red paper for my card. So I'm gonna fold it over like a normal greeting card where the fold is on the left. Then I'm gonna choose what I wanna put on the front. You could put any message you wanted, but I'm gonna write Happy Mother's Day in pencil first in case I make a mistake. Then I'll trace over it with marker, give it a little extra flair, and maybe add a picture or two. It's up, really up to you. Oh my goodness, don't forget to trace the apostrophe. The next part is the vase. In order to make it the right size, so it's not too big or too small, I took another colored piece of paper and folded it into fours. I'm only gonna choose one square to make the vase. The key is to make it big and wide and fill up the whole square if you can. That way the flowers will fit nicely in your vase. Afterwards, you can add a little flair, a little design if you'd like. Then you can grab your scissors and cut it out. Make sure your card is opening the right way first. The gluing is kind of tricky. You only wanna put glue on the outside edges of the vase except for the top. That way you can fit your stems and flowers in there. White glue would probably be better, but this is what I have to work with. Remember, only on the edges and not on the top. And it's always good to do one more check that your card is facing the right way. The fold should always be on the left. To start writing our gifts, use the shorter edge of the paper rather than the longer end. Think about what your mom or that special person needs. Maybe they need help with your siblings, maybe with dinner, help with laundry or even the dishes. I'm choosing one free chore first, any chore. The key is to write it really small up across the top. Then use your straight edge to get really close to your letters to make a thin strip. That will be the stem. Then choose what other two free gifts you want to give. I'm choosing one free hug and one free night of dishes. Be sure to keep it as close to the letters as possible to make them thin. After writing it with my pencil, I'm going to trace over the letters with a marker to make it look a little nicer. Next, 
weeks, it's time to cut our stems. Carefully cut across your lines that you drew. We're going to trim our stems to fit our card. We want to make sure there's room for the flowers on top. I'm cutting about halfway down the stem. to make the flowers. To help me start, I'm using a bottle cap to be the middle of the flower. I don't want to put it too close to the edge because I need to make room for the petals. So I use the bottle cap to trace the center of my flower. From there, I can draw the petals. They can be round, they can be pointy. It's really up to you. Once you're done drawing the petals, you can color in the middle, draw a design, color the petals. For now, I'm just coloring in the middle. Then it's time to cut. This might take you a while, but don't worry, it'll be worth it in the end. Once you've cut out one of your flowers, choose a stem that you want to glue it to. Put the glue on the stem part, not on the flower. That way it won't be too messy and we'll know exactly where it's going. flowers to go. I chose a different cap to trace as for a different size and I'm making pointy petals instead. This might be a little tough to cut out but hey come on it's your mom. She will definitely appreciate all your hard work. Pick your next stem to glue on. Remember, glue on the stem, not on the flower. The farther down on the stem your flower goes, the more sturdier it is. One more flower to go. I changed it up a bit with a different color paper. Time to put our last flower on the stem. Then we will arrange our flowers so that it fits nicely in the card. Notice if you put too many big flowers, it might not fit. So smaller can be better. I'm 
adding a little color to my vase. You can color, add a picture, write a message. It's really up to you. Now your card is ready to give. What a surprise it will be when she opens it and finds three gifts. Oh, a free big hug, thank you. Oh, one free chore, very nice. And a free night of dishes? Wow, that's a great gift, your mom will say. Whoever you decide to give it to will appreciate your thoughtfulness, hard work, and creativity. Enjoy.